Providers urge more PPE supplies needed before elective surgeries can resume, and CMS to use staffing data to assess PPE needs and freezes the star ratings. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Long term care providers across the country want assurances that they'll have enough personal protective equipment as several states look to resume elective surgeries. In a recent series of tweets last Wednesday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine called on providers to reassess procedures that were postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic in a move to resume some elective surgeries in the state. Providers, however, are cautioning that several factors like adequate supplies of PPE must be in place before procedures can be restarted and patients start coming into their facilities for recovery. Enough PPE supplies was also among the guidance for resuming elective surgeries recently issued by the American Hospital Association, American College of Surgeons, American Society of Anesthesiologists, and the Association of Perioperative Registered Nurses. Quote, at this moment, many post-acute care providers in Ohio still do not have the adequate supplies of PPE needed to react to COVID-19, let alone elective procedures, Leading Age Ohio President and CEO Catherine Broad said. She added that immediately quarantining patients from hospitals will be a key factor in preventing the asymptomatic spread of the disease. In Arizona, state officials recently laid out plans that would allow hospitals and outpatient centers to resume elective surgeries starting May 1st. Under those plans, medical facilities must meet a series of requirements before resuming procedures, which include developing discharge plans for patients being transferred to nursing facilities. Those plans must include COVID-19 testing. They include having more than 14 days worth of PPE for medical staff on hand, adequate staffing and bed capacity, screening staff patients and visitors for COVID-19 symptoms, and implementing an enhanced cleaning process for waiting areas. Providers staffing totals will be used to address their PPE needs during the coronavirus pandemic, according to a new memo from CMS. In addition, money collected from fines will pay for tools that will help residents communicate with their families during the pandemic lockdown. CMS announced the moves late Friday afternoon, explaining that it will be publishing a list of the average number of staff members on site at facilities each day. The information will be used to direct adequate PPE and testing to nursing homes. The agency also is now waiving time frame requirements for submitting resident assessment data and staff data by certain deadlines. The waivers won't impact the updates to quality measures and staffing domains being used for the April update on the rating system, which is set for today. The CMS memo also announced a freeze to nursing homes' current overall star ratings on the Nursing Home Compare website following the suspension of certain survey inspections during the coronavirus pandemic. In late March, the agency announced that it would be suspending standard surveys for nursing homes and prioritize inspections regarding immediate jeopardy, infection control, and self-assessments. In Friday's memo, the agency said the targeted inspection plan resulted in a great shift in the number of nursing homes inspected and how they're conducted. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.